So this weekend, I finally got my Tesla boombox functionality working. That update came on uh, December 31st for me, so it was an awesome New Year's present, but uh, it's been about a month. I haven't had the custom sounds work properly. Uh, I finally had some time this weekend. I thought I'd share what I had to do to uh, get it working. So I discovered a couple of things. First off, uh, my Tesla Model 3 is about a year old, so... The, at that time with, uh, I think, version 9, the Tesla Cam USB drives needed to be formatted uh, uh, FAT32. Fat and I had a 128-gig drive in there, which I had to format using some Linux utilities because Windows wouldn't go that high with, uh, with uh, FAT. However, um, they've now, since then, Tesla has moved to EX FAT file systems, and the Boombox actually requires EX that file system. So that's where the, uh, the the crux of this lays. I tried to format the drive I have in the Model 3 w uh, using the system utilities, but uh, that didn't, uh, and, and create a, a boombox folder, but that didn't allow it to uh, work either. So I had to essentially format it uh, myself, so I'd go through the steps here. So I plugged in the USB drive from the Tesla into the car, and this is what it looks like once Tesla formats um, that drive. They call it Tesla Drive, and it, it puts two folders in, uh, by default, the Tesla Cam in the track mode, and obviously that's working. So what I had done was actually created a new folder here called Boombox, put a couple of MP3s in there, and it still didn't work. So we're going to kind of figure out how to how to make that work. And uh, the issue seems to be that uh, whatever drive is being used for uh, recording for the Tesla cam cannot also be used for reading uh, the boombox. And I don't want to put two uh, different drives in there. So uh, to do this, I would also use, it's fairly easy to do with the Linux utilities or command line, but I'm going to do it using Windows. First thing you want to do is search for a control panel program called create and format disk partitions. And this is just standard Windows 10. Once you open that utility, it will bring out the drives and identify you know, where the Tesla drive is. You can see it's an EX uh, FAT partition type. And uh, there's my uh, D drive. So what we're going to do is actually blow that away. So if there are folders from here that you actually want to save, you can easily just copy them off to your, uh, to your desktop. And uh, later you can actually copy them back or restore all the footage that you need. But I, I've, I've gone through the footage and I've extracted what I need to. So I'm actually going to skip that uh, um, skip that step. Uh, so coming back here, um, getting into the disk management utility, right click on the Tesla drive and delete the volume. So what we're going to do is create two different volumes here. The question is going to come up around, do you want to erase the data? Sure, yes, OK. What we want to do is wipe that volume out. So here's our D drive, and it has uh, zero um, uh, volumes on it. Now what we're going to do is create a volume. I'm going to create two volumes on this, one for the Tesla drive, which will be the Tesla cam functionality, and the other one for the boombox, which doesn't need to be very big. So uh, up here, I see that uh, it will allocate the full capacity. So right-clicked and created a new volume. Now we want to reduce that by a couple of uh, megs. So 10 megs should be enough to hold a couple of MP3s, but I'm just going to go down to maybe 70. So I have a uh, 40 gig one just in case in the future I they allow more sounds out there. So I've reduced that by uh, 40 megabytes. That should be enough space for me. I click Next. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the drive letter here is. And the important thing here is we want this to be file system to be EXFT, and we're going to label this one, uh, the original label, which is Tesla Drive. You can obviously call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to stick with the original names of Tesla Drive. Click Next. It'll say, yep, and finish, and there we go. In a few seconds, I will have my uh, Tesla Drive, and uh, it's now my E drive. Um, it's in here, it's 114.52 gigs, and it's EXFAT, which is what we want. Now, more importantly, I've got a 40 megabyte unallocated space here. Now I'm going to right click on this and create another simple volume here. And I'll go to next, and you can see it's about 40. And again, don't care what drive letters gets assigned right now. Uh, we're going to call this Boombox. 
just to differentiate. Now you're going to notice here that we actually don't have the EX FAT uh, file system type available to us. This is a Windows um, GUI limitation. You can do this using the using disk partition command line if you want to, but there's an easy way out of this. So select NTFS, boombox, quick format, next, and finish. Now that 40 gig megabyte volume, sorry, is going to be allocated and it's going to show up as a Windows uh, NTF file system. So here we go. Here's uh, the D drive, it's boombox. You go down here. But the problem is it's NTFS. But we can change that. Right click on here and say format again. And in this case, when we drop down, we're now going to have the EX FAT uh, file system type. You can leave the allocation default. Click OK. Uh, confirm. Uh, yes, sure. OK. And there we go. We've got our D drive, which is the boombox uh, with 40 megabytes EXFAT. And we've got the E drive, which is the Tesla drive. This is where the video is going to be stored. Now, uh, I plugged this in with the proper folders and actually worked, but my video didn't work, uh, the Tesla cam. So I actually had made a very silly mistake. Uh, it needs to see specific folders. So what we want to do at this point is restore the folders that uh, were originally um, uh, created. So if you copy them all off from your desktop or actually um, recreate them just by naming them, uh, you see, okay, I've got my Tesla cam folder in there and I've got my Tesla track mode folder on my Tesla drive. And that's that. And I'm going to go to my D drive, um, right click and explore. And in here, what I want to do is create a folder called Boombox. So right click new folder, Boombox, and done. Now we've got Boombox. Now this is where you can put a number of uh, MP3s that you want uh, to pick up. So what I'm going to do here is I have um, on my drives uh, a separate uh, uh, folder where I've got some MP3s that I've downloaded off the internet and uh, others that I've modified and created in audio uh, applications. And I'm going to put those here just to kind of mess around. Now, one piece of advice here is uh, keep the names obviously descriptive, keep the names somewhat short, no spaces, no free spaces in them, um, and uh, uh, caps and small letters, uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, keeping away from spaces in there would be uh, is good. And also limiting the number of files that you have to just five. So for example, this could make a very good horn sound. It'd be rather annoying, but I think I'll get the point a lot uh, across. I'm a TNG fan. Yeah, you can have a, have a, have a little bit of fun. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go over, plug this, uh, eject this drive by right-clicking here and saying eject. And I'm going to plug this into the uh, Model 3, and hopefully we've got both functionality uh, working. All right, I'm in the car now, and I'm going to plug in the uh, USB drive into the port. There we go. Let's see. A few seconds. There we go. Uh, top right, we can see that the... Uh, Tesla cam is working. So now the bigger test is going to be to see if the under the toy box we have ability to show um, to choose multiple sounds. So go back in here and voila down here we've got the uh, the USB sounds the five that uh, we talked about. Preview some of them. I really like this one. It's fantastic for uh, for doing a uh, a zero to sixty. There you have it. So single drive plugged in, and both the uh, viewer and the boombox are working perfectly fine. I hope this helps you out.